well, all settled. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear doctors, I would first of all like to express my gratefulness that you have taken the time, despite your very busy schedule, to come here to join us to talk a little bit about what Pycnogenol can do for your patients to improve their health. Uh, you already introduced me, so uh, the company Hofag Research, which manufactures Pycnogenol, uh, invests approximately one and a half million dollars per year in clinical research to investigate what Pycnogenol has to offer for improving people's health. So if you see it sometimes how many studies we have on Pycnogenol and also the broad number of pathologies you can, you can treat with it, this is a result of systematically investigating uh, different disorders. And uh, you're all physicians, you know that you can judge yourself by having a look at Medline, and if you enter Pycnogenol in the disease case, you will find the original publication. So everything is open, everything is available to the public uh, to see what we have done with this product. So I would like to start with uh, something less medical, talking a little bit about uh, dermatology because Pycnogenol was always uh, investigated also for dermatological uh, purposes and it is also added to one of PharmaNord's products, which you know, probably know as Evel, which is a complex, complex product. Of course, you as physicians know pretty well how the skin is made up, so <laughs> we don't need to show you this in detail. Um, yes. Louder. I thought you'd just speak too, too fast. <laughs> so if I speak too fast, please tell me. So. The skin is made up essentially of two different skin uh, of cell types, uh, keratinocytes and uh, the fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are the ones producing the collagen, the hyaluronic acid, while the keratinocytes basically divide all the time. So they are the major masses of, keratinocyte of, of the skin, which we then flake off when they, when they die. So why, the reason why I show this is that there are only very few tissues in our body which constantly divide. This is the mucous membranes, the skin, and the bone marrow. And these cells have a different demand for nutrients to function for, uh, properly. So, and there's a, there's a similarity. The, the bone marrow needs significant amounts of zinc to reproduce and to, to, to produce new cells. And exactly the same is the case uh, in the skin. There are a couple of nutrients like zinc or biotin where you have only marginal lack of these uh, uh, ingredients and the skin starts to look rough or little, even a little reddish. So the skin has different nutritional demands than other organs. So, of course, many... Uh, Let's say the marketing people always tell you that you can uh, that you need to produce more collagen, and that we are kind of born with collagen and it decreases and decreases while we age. That is, of course, not really not really the case. We constantly produce collagen in the skin and everywhere. The problem is just uh, the equilibrium between the amount of old collagen removed and new collagen synthesized is going out of balance when we grow older. So the fibroblasts basically produce the collagen, and then there are enzymes, matrix metalloproteinases, which degrade collagen. So there's a constant removal and reproduction, and there are, uh, so this is the next slide. There are also substances in the ki uh, skin called TIMPs, which inhibit the activity of the MMPs to decrease the reduction of collagen. So this is a very fine balance to, uh, to have the skin have the proper collagen content and look optimally elastic and healthy. So what then actually has us um, lose skin elasticity and good-looking skin? Basically, these are unhealthy lifestyles. The UV light starts an inflammation. There is more of these MMPs destroying collagen. Cigarette smoking was explicitly shown to decrease the synthesis of collagen. It's not only the cancer problem, there's a significant impact on uh, skin health. Also, the advanced glycation end products of eating too much sugars has an impact on, this, on the uh, collagen synthesis. And of course, aging, which is one thing we really can't change. So this is, usually there's an equilibrium between the amount of collagen produced and the amount of collagen are removed and this goes out of balance with an unhealthy lifestyle. So this is a little uh, 
wrap up of essential components the skin needs to optimally divide and to look optimally healthy. Vitamin C, of course, that is no secret. Uh, without vitamin C, we can't produce functional collagen. But there are studies in humans showing that vitamin C stimulates the synthesis of collagen type 1. So having a little additional vitamin C helps to produce more collagen. Biotin and zinc are essential for a healthy skin, and the skin needs more than any other tissue except the bone marrow, which is also in their category. Selenium is a very important antioxidant part and the glutathione uh, reductase. And polyphenols are very potent antioxidants and I will now talk about uh, pycnogenol in more detail. So actually Pharma Nord, uh, I was involved in that study as well, did a study in Hamburg where they investigated in a double-blind placebo-controlled fashion over a period of a total of 12 weeks, but I show the results here after six weeks, that with a complex product, which they now market as Evel, you can significantly improve the skin elasticity. There's an, actually an instrument called Qtometer, which uh, looks like a suction bell, and it sucks up with a vacuum the skin and measures how it balances, how it bounces back. Uh, so you can actually physically measure properly and very precisely the skin elasticity. And it improved by 9% in women who were actually, of course, at, at higher age because you will only see a, an improvement of the skin elasticity in women who already have already lost a little skin elasticity, while there was hardly any effect in the placebo group. And they also investigated by three-dimensional laser topography that the, uh, the wrinkle deepness decreased. So you have a more even-looking skin, but this, you see, that takes, that takes a little longer. Uh, while the skin elasticity was improved after six weeks, uh, it takes 12 weeks and you, until you see significant changes of uh, the wrinkle, wrinkle reduction.